Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Cue the Christmas music. Um, this is pretty exciting actually to be vlogging throughout December so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Today is Thursday so two days before you'll be watching this. I have just been spending the morning working on my November beauty edit so this is kind of like a new thing I'm doing on my blog which I'm going to put up at the end of every single month where I talk about some of the beauty products, skincare, hair care, all of that kind of stuff that I've been using throughout the previous month. So, um, oh, maybe I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on. Okay, so if you don't follow my blog, this is kind of what it looks like. And this is the new post. So all of the different products that I've been trying, everything that I think about it. This took me a really long time to write. I've got all the skincare here. And then I've also got some hair care and a couple of other beauty bits too. So that's what I've been working on this morning. So it's just after 10 o'clock now and I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea, but because it is the start of Vlogmas, I kind of feel like I need to pull out my Christmas decorations. So let's go and get them. I've got them stored in the cupboard down here. And these are what they look like and I'm actually really excited for when our tree arrives. It's not coming until the 11th of December, which is when I will decorate the tree. But these are where I store all of our baubles and things. And a lot of these were actually made by my mum. So she was really crafty and just she was so creative, so clever. So she made these ones here, which are a polystyrene ball. And then she's kind of put the fabric in them and then sewn on this silver thread to kind of create the string to attach it onto the tree. She also made these plush little hearts and I think there were red ones somewhere as well. Oh, here's another one of those balls. She made this bell. I have no idea how she did this. Really cool. And then the other ones she made, oh, okay, this is another bauble she made. And then in here, we've got these little mice in socks, which I just think these are so cute. So I'm looking forward to putting these back on the tree again. It's just a huge sense of nostalgia and it's kind of nice to have a bit of mum on the tree at Christmas time. Yeah, we haven't really actually bought any sort of decorative bits for the house. So that's something I might look at going and getting just because we are hosting. So I would like to have a little bit of a Christmas theme throughout the house. And if you can hear those bells, how very fitting that's actually just Charlotte wandering around. So um, yeah, I'm going to make a tea. I'm going to work on my Christmas gift guide, which will be going up on Monday. So you'll have a couple of days before that goes up on my website. I'm going to be doing a Christmas uh, gift guide video as well, which is really long. I think it's 33 minutes. Sorry. There were so many different things that I wanted to share. I'm going to do a much more extensive blog post. But in that video, I'm going to be mentioning that um, I'm going to do a giveaway. So let's talk about it now because why not? I'm here. I've got my, uh, <laughs> I've got the camera here. So I thought as a huge thank you to you guys, because I really appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to actually watch my videos or leave me a comment. And I love the kind of community that we've created. And as a way to say thank you, and also because I'm definitely in that gifting spirit, given it's the festive time of year, I wanted to do a couple of giveaways. So I'm going to give away three little lucky dip packs. So all you need to do is just go over and follow me on Instagram. That's it. And then just leave your uh, Instagram handle in the comment section below and I'll randomly select a winner probably around the middle of the month. So the 14th or the 15th of the month, I will randomly select someone to win a whole bunch of stuff. But let me just show you what I've got here. So it's mostly going to be a mix of beauty items and I'm going to go and get some really nice chocolates and things like that for you guys. But there's some Jo Malone in here. There's a fragrance from Moogla. There's some NARS in here. There's actually some NARS lipsticks and things too. More Jo Malone. I've got um, these really cool little Nude by Nature packs. I have a lot in here, so I think it should be a really neat pack. There's also some Crabtree and Evelyn too. So I'm looking forward to kind of being able to send those out and this is going to be open worldwide as well. But yeah, so um, that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. Um, I might show you guys my outfit. I don't know if in the bedroom's the best place. Maybe I'll take you into the living room. Hang on. 
perhaps unsurprisingly, the weather is still miserable right now, despite the fact that summer is supposed to be starting very, very soon. It's been raining this morning. It is so windy outside. You might actually be able to hear the wind right now. And I'm freezing. I'm probably going to heat up a wheat pack as well. So I've gone for something really just cozy and comfortable for working in the house. I'm wearing a grey merino ribbed God, to say that 10 times fast, um, sweater from Grana. This has split sleeves here, so you could actually kind of fold the sleeves up if you want, but I like the fact that they cover my hands really comfortably, but they don't really dip into anything. Here's sort of a, uh, a close up at the fabric. Then I'm wearing my Topshop dungarees. I love these as just sort of an all-in-one outfit and I don't really wear them enough. So I, I kind of really like the way that they paired with this sweater. And on my feet, I'm wearing my Vanelli two-tone flats because just an easy option. I don't have a bag. I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'll actually be uh, leaving the house today uh, just because I've got so much work to get through. So. Yes, probably should get stuck into a little bit more of that. So I will talk with you guys later on. So I thought I would chat with you guys while I prepare my lunch. Today I'm just having some leftovers. I made a pita last night. You don't know what that is. It's essentially the Greek word for pie. I made one with silver beet, leek, a bit of brown rice. I also threw on some feta and some egg as well. I didn't hand make the pastry. However, I have a really old video of my hand making pastry and it is something special for sure. I just used some store-bought phyllo. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm also going to make a salad as well. So while I'm kind of chopping things up, what I'd love to know is, were you guys overwhelmed by the Black Friday sales? Because I definitely was, and I was also overwhelmed by the extreme amount of content that came out around that time. And it's always sort of this end half of the year where everyone sort of seems to go crazy for sales. And personally, um, I kind of like to use them as an opportunity to one, buy Christmas presents for people, and two, to pick up things that I've had on my wish list for a really long time. So for example, uh, I bought that Balfan leather jacket from a, uh, All Saints, which has arrived, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on actually, for anyone who was thinking about investing in it themselves, because it is quite an expensive purchase. So I was able to get 30% off, and considering I was planning on buying it already, to me, that seemed like a pretty good deal. Yeah, I think people go a little bit crazy. Good time of year to probably buy a designer handbag if you have one on your wish list, though. But I mean, if you sat this one out, there's always gonna be more. Um, I know the boxing set. Boxing day sales are always pretty good too, uh, if there's anything else that you sort of had on your wish list. But yeah, for me, um, I kind of try not to go too overboard and only buy what I need. Um, oh, tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to a jewelry launch. So I'll bring you guys along with me. It's for a brand called Anya Hay, and I believe it's a British brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I think that should be pretty fun, actually. Uh, it's at Bondi Iceberg. So I might show you guys around there as well. Because the last time I was there, I didn't vlog and I sort of regretted it because it was during Sculptures by the Sea, which is actually a really cool time to be in Sydney. Then and during Vivid, which is a, a light show that we've got. Oh, sort of like a light installation throughout the uh, CBD and along the waterfront during the middle of the year. Uh, it's actually, yeah, such a pretty time to come to Sydney. So, all right, um, that's my salad made. I'm just having a green salad. I'm going to pop my pie, which this is what it looks like. I'm <laughs> cooking in the Le Le Creuset casserole dish. So I'm just going to pop that in the microwave now. 
So this is my lunch for the day. It's a really nice hearty piece of pie. A salad, I've just dressed it with some olive oil, put some salt and pepper and a touch of feta. And then what I like to have with any kind of pie or even just with chicken is a lovely chutney. And this is probably my favorite one at the moment. It's slightly spicy. check through my Black Friday sale purchases. I did a whole blog post on this and I talked about what I bought, but I haven't actually talked about what I thought about all the products. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the um, leather jacket that I bought from All Saints, which I'm really pleased with. So before Luke and I got married, I had an Acne Studios leather jacket. It was make leather jacket. It was horrendously expensive. If memory serves me, it cost me over $2,000. Um, and obviously that's a lot of money to spend on a single item in your wardrobe. Uh, as we're leading up to the wedding, I sort of realized it was a little bit too big on me and I wasn't really reaching for it anymore, so I decided to sell it. Since then, and it's been over two years, I've been looking for an alternative and I stumbled across this one from All Saints. I want to say about six months ago, it's been quite a long time that I've had it in my wish list and I just knew it would go on sale in the Black Friday sales. So I was sort of waiting for that. So this is kind of, hang on, okay. So this is how it fits. I went for the UK 8. And I'm really pleased with it. It is a little bit snug under the underarm, I'm not gonna lie, but because it is a leather, I sort of feel like it's going to give a lot. I know that my acne leather jacket gave so much, it kind of increased in size, even though I sized down. But I like the fact that the belt is actually attached to the jacket, so it's not gonna fall out, which was a problem I believe I have with the acne one. And it, it zips up really nicely too. Let me just show you how it looks zipped up so yeah i love the combination of hardware too because it's this sort of brushed silver and then there's matte black as well so yeah that was the first thing that i got and this was kind of the one thing that i knew i was going to end up buying from the black friday sales uh then the second thing i will talk about is the jewelry i picked up from missima so I got two necklaces and I think they're both really beautiful and I'm really pleased with them. Uh, so the first one was the Interstellar necklace. don't know how I'm going to show you guys this one, but it is very pretty. It's not as sort of orangey gold as I was expecting because I had read some reviews where some people had said that the gold was very orangey. It's just a really nice bright yellow gold. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this. Let's do extreme close-up. So I think it's really pretty how it's got alternating uh, little, these look like opals, then it's got the kind of cubic zirconia, I guess, and then the stars. So I think that's really nice. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, mini molten necklace, it doesn't actually layer with this like, at all. So it, it, um, I tried and didn't really work. So I haven't actually had a chance to try it with any of my other necklaces. To be honest, I haven't really been uh, playing around with them that much. But I did think this is really beautiful, even if I just wore it on its own. So let me just pop this one on. And I actually like it's got the little detail of a fang at the um, back too. So that is what the mini molten looks like. And that is at the, the longest length as well. Okay, so then the other kind of, I guess, major things aside from the Dyson fan, which I'm still waiting for it to arrive and I'm kind of hoping it's going to arrive today. I got the dispatch from David Jones, so I'm sure it will be here soon, but I got two eyeshadows. One I love, the other one I'm disappointed by. <laughs> so um, I got the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions eyeshadow palette, which is just I mean, those colors are pretty gorgeous and actually ones that I would use quite a lot. I think they kind of go quite well with my skin tone and I like the fact that there is a mix of shimmer shades and also matte and then there's this very, very glittery shade here, which I think would be really perfect for kind of New Year's or something like that. These are pretty good value for money because they're under $50 and you've got nine eyeshadows. This is kind of really all you need and they're really pigmented too. Uh, 
don't know, can you see? Sorry, I'm not very good at this. Really nice and pigmented. So those I'm pleased with and they wear really well. I'm just gonna blend those off on the back of my hand. The palette I'm not so happy with, but I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it, is this one from Natasha Denona. So if you haven't heard of Natasha Denona before, it's a very expensive makeup brand. And I heard one of the sales associates at Sephora saying that these shimmer shadows have crushed pearls in them, which might be an explanation as to why some of her eyeshadows are really expensive but this is kind of what it looks like without that plastic bit in the front so really nice sort of warm toned eyeshadow but what I found is that the shimmer shades these two gorgeous shades here let me just do a little bit of they um, didn't wear very well over the day so the shimmer just sort of it kind of melted into my inner corner it was not cute and I sort of wouldn't expect that with such a high-end eyeshadow product. So I think this retails for $69 full price. I got 15% off. So what does that mean? I paid I paid more like $60 or $62 or something like that for it. So still a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette and I'd kind of expect a lot more because I could get a full eyeshadow palette from another brand like Too Faced or something like that. So, yes, those are my thoughts on the things that I got from the Black Friday sales. Um, like I said, I would love to know what you guys thought of it this year. Did you buy anything? Did you decide to avoid them completely? I hope that if you did do any shopping, you shop responsibly. I'm going to say this so much, but I think it's really important to shop responsibly. Don't shop um, outside of your means and only buy what you need. So with that being said, I actually think I'm going to go and do some more work now. I'm trying my very best to not have to work on the weekend through Vlogmas. So we'll see how I go with that. But I've got quite a lot to get through. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later on. So I just finished editing the photos that I am going to be including in the Christmas gift guide. I still have to work on all of the collages, sort of pulling all the different pics and stuff like that. So I'm going to probably keep working on that this afternoon and hopefully I'll be able to finish that off tomorrow as well as all of the text probably biting off more than I can chew I think I'm gonna have to do some of it on the weekend but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a sneak peek okay so this here is the first pick that is going to be going up and this is sort of a beauty themed one then here I've got one which is a little bit more based around clothing and accessories and then this last one here is home and decor and I think I've got about 16 images all up so that's kind of gonna be me for the rest of the afternoon I'm just gonna be working away Luke will come home a bit later on and I believe we're having grilled chicken and salad for dinner. Very exciting. <laughs> so what I might do is maybe just check in with you guys tomorrow morning because I feel like this is probably going to start to become a really long vlog. I get super chatty and very carried away as you guys may have noticed. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> while I was at the Anya High launch. I went to my PO box, picked up my stuff, and now I've got to get into some work. Just wrapping up some client work before Christmas, which is kind of nice because I'm winding down and it sort of means I can focus on doing my own thing. I thought maybe I'd just quickly show you my outfit of the day and 
I'm currently melting. It's about 22, 23 degrees today, but this morning when I left the house, it was pretty cool. It hadn't really heated up and now I'm wearing too many layers. So I'm gonna get changed after this, but let me just run you through everything. Uh, earrings are from Madewell. I really, really like these. Necklace is the Missima necklace that I was showing you guys yesterday. Then the shirt that I am wearing is from Everlane. This is just their silk blouse in the ivory. My jeans are my ASOS Farley Mom jeans and on my feet I'm also wearing some shoes from Everlane. These are the Editor Flats and I've talked about them before. The elastic is stretched out quite a bit so they do drop off my feet a little bit. And then my bag, you guys probably won't have seen this. But this is a vintage Fendi Mama Zuka bag, I believe it's called. Let me just... I kind of like how these vintage bags are uh, coming back in terms of popularity. So there we go. That is the full outfit that I am wearing currently. Not for much longer. So that is it for Vlogmas days one and two. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you on Monday with my Christmas gift guide. See you soon. Bye.